Hello, today we're making a simple snow fungus chicken soup. This soup helps to moisturize the skin and boost energy. First, let's prepare the snow fungus. Rinse it clean. Then soak for about 30 minutes until it doubles in size. While waiting, let's clean the chicken. Make sure to clean the chicken thoroughly. When cleaning chicken thighs, make sure to remove any dark tissue found underneath the bone. Remove any excess fat. You can also remove the skin to reduce the oil in the soup. For this recipe, we're using chicken with bones to extract the nutrients and flavour from the chicken bones. Now let's get back to the snow fungus. Snow fungus is the main ingredient for this recipe. It has cooling properties and helps to improve complexion. Squeeze out the excess water and set it aside. I'll be using these bowls with covers, each with a 400 to about 600 milliliter capacity. You will need four bowls for this recipe. You can also use any bowl and cover it with a plate. In each bowl, add one red date. Remove the seed as it creates excess heat. Add two dried scallops, two to three dried longans, and two to three slices of yolk tuk. Add a handful of goji berries and a handful of snow fungus. Remove the root of the snow fungus. Then add two small pieces of chicken, about 120 grams. Repeat the same steps for the remaining soup bowls. Now let's prepare the wok for steaming. Place the steaming rack in the wok, then place the bowls on the rack. Fill up the bowls with water and cover them. For this recipe, we're going to use the double boil method. In Chinese cooking, we believe this method preserves the most nutrients in the soup. Pour water into the wok. Make sure the water level covers one third of the bowl height. Bring the water to a boil. Then reduce the heat to a simmer. Simmer for two hours. Make sure the water is only gently bubbling, otherwise it might splash into the soup. Hmm, <laughs> so yummy. Be careful, it's very hot. If you don't like it too oily, remove the excess oil. Then season with salt. Hope you like this recipe. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to comment below if you tried it. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching. See you next time.